Sparky Sparks here. I have new hair. So this is John Renault heat defiant. So you can use heat on this. This is a new wig for me and actually not a new style. I've worn this style before. Love her, love, love. Her name is Drew and the color today is Malibu Blonde. And so if you remember when I reviewed Zara in two shades, this was one of the shades. So one of my new favorite colors. And the code in case you need it is 12FS12. So let's get started. So this is how it comes when it comes. I'm just doing a full unboxing for you so you get to see the whole thing from start to finish. So we take off the top and it has a little um, information card, beautifully packed. I like to save this card that comes on the wig so that when you store it, you can either store it in the box and this, this shows, you can also put your picture right here. If you're like me and you've collected a lot of wigs, it's nice to keep them organized. Now she's bobby pinned in here. I'm working with one hand here. So let's see, we'll get her out of here. Looks like a shirt collar, kind of this number. So she's in here real secure. So as she's been shipped, she hasn't been jostled around. So we'll get her out of the box. Oh, this is awesome too. A new John Renault wide tooth comb. Very handy and very much needed. I put them everywhere so that I always have a wide tooth comb because especially with the longer styles, you really need a wide tooth comb, not a brush. So this comes with a tag attached and you can just loop it off. Um, I like to do that. I don't like to try on the hair with, with this on. I know it takes just a minute, but we can do this. How's your morning going? Mine's great. I'm in San Diego today and it's a little overcast out, but enough light to do some video. I really love John Renault. There's something about these heat defiant pieces that really hold up. So um, I saw a reviewer talk about silicone hair mask and that has saved um, my Zara that I accidentally washed um, in the washer. So um, I get silly sometimes and accidentally it ended up in there. So the tag comes off now. As we start, let's look at the inside first. So we have this, all this open um, parting, free parting space. So um, this would be, in your, if you're looking at the descriptions, this would be a monofilament top. And there is no fixed part, because you can move it around. And this is open wefted. And then in the back, we have the adjusters. So if it's too, too, too big, you can move those in. They're just Velcro. And if it's too tight, unloosen them. Don't wear your wig too tight. If you start to get a headache, it's probably because it's on too tight. Now, another tip is choose a light colored hair grip if you're going to wear a hair grip, because um, as you move around, you are going to want this light color to be underneath. Um, if you wear a dark wig with a light color, it doesn't look the best. So keep that in mind. So now what I like to do, she's fresh out of the box. So we're going to shake her out. She will shed a little bit, not to worry. And you can see my hands are coming right through. So that's how open it is. It's very, very breathable. Now to put her on, we're going to look for the tag in the back and we're going to put our forehead in. This is the lace front and you can see it's nearly see-through. And this is what's going to give the illusion of it coming out of my scalp. I always like to tease, well, one of the rules of thumb is either three fingers or four fingers. And you can see my hairline is much higher than four fingers. Always has been, nothing changed. Um, it just is what it is. So when I don't wear wigs and I wear my bio hair, I usually have bangs. And um, with wigs, I can adjust this space. So that's another thing for you girls who have, um, a bit higher foreheads. And I hear that in back in the day, women actually did electrolysis or, and that was the way they did hair removal to get, to make high foreheads, to make, you know, more space here because it was a sign of intelligence. Now, I don't know if that's true, but I'm going to go with it because I fit that model. Anyway, so we're going to dive our forehead in here. 
like this and pull it on flip up oh, beautiful so first thing i like to do is you can feel the ear tabs on either side so hold on to those and kind of squeeze them into your temples next we're going to take the nifty comb and i like to wear my hair parted on the left for the most part and then we're going to gently comb her out look at this isn't this is what i love about this wig this style this is john renault that's the maker and the style is drew so you can see there's little wispies and little fly flyaways but right out of the box right just gorgeous She's ready for the day. Uh, great summertime wig. Really a great summertime wig. Lightweight, very soft, soft curls. Let me show you the back. So we'll put her back like this. So you can get a, a sense of how she looks from behind. So again, this is Drew in the shade 12 fs12 or malibu blonde what do you think tell me your thoughts check out the hairline this is what i'm talking about with that lace front you and it goes from here to here so if i want to pull it back like some of my friends do in texas i can do that and clip it up high i can put it in a low pony or a pony right here high up you know half up half down that's pretty. Uh, I can wear a visor. I can wear a hat if I want. Typically when I golf, I just wear a visor to keep the sun out of my eyes because I already have sun protection with my hair hat. So that's another cool thing about wearing wigs. You don't have to worry about the top of your head getting burnt. So that's, that's Drew. Malibu Blonde 12 FS8. Have a great day. Cheers.